So hopefully, because a lot of people have spent a lot of time talking about this, you're all aware that the master key for the DNS security mechanisms, the key signing key of DNSSEC is going to roll. We're going to have a new key in October is the plan. Fingers crossed, everyone. Why? Because this was meant to happen around 11 months ago on the 11th of October 2017. It didn't happen. Why not? Well, in late August of 2017, we started seeing some preliminary data from a measurement process that was feeding in extremely strange answers. Up to 20% of resolvers were saying, I was meant to learn a new key, we were meant to be ready, I'm not ready. In the light of this quite surprising data, ICANN took the decision to stop the process, call a halt, and see what was going on and try and understand it a bit more. So we've taken a year across the DNS community to try and understand a little bit more about trust and the DNS and the keys. Now, in the DNS, it's a hierarchical system. Everybody has a parent. Same as life, really. Everyone has a parent. So when I want to roll my key, I look to my parent saying, hey, parent, my key's going to roll. Here's the new key. You remember the new key and everything will be fine, which is good as long as you have a parent. But what about the grand ancestor of all DNS, the root zone? There's no parent. So if you want to roll that key, that prime key, everyone who is running a DNSSEC validating resolver needs to be aware of the new key. Now, if this was a manual process and everyone had to reconfigure, I'm not sure we could ever roll the key. There's, the internet's just too diverse. There's too much packaged stuff. This would not work. But we have a surprisingly efficient mechanism of rolling the key automatically. And the way it works is inside the root zone, the old key that everyone trusts is going to sign a special record that includes the key you're introducing. And because you trust the old key and the old key saying this new key is good, you learn to trust the new key. So the theory goes that after a month of announcing this special record, all the resolvers would have picked up this new information and be perfectly ready. This is great. The data that was being provided a year ago was suggesting that this wasn't the case. There were two possible explanations as to what was going on. One was that these resolvers really weren't picking up the new key for some reason that we didn't understand. But the other explanation was equally likely. Bad test. And so when we looked, it actually turned out the test wasn't very good. The answers were confusing, partially because the way it was implemented and the way the results were being fed weren't very good. And so at APNIC, we thought about this and thought, well, maybe there's a better way of doing this test. And so we devised a mechanism and sent it through the ITF that actually allowed the test to work in a different way. That if you trusted certain keys, we could change the answer coming back from the DNS. It's sort of like, do you trust this key? Give me an answer if you do, but don't give me an answer if you don't. That kind of question. Now, taking things through the IETF is not a same day process. It's not a same week process. It's not even a same month process. If you're lucky, it's same year. And certainly it has taken around nine months for this relatively simple thing to go through the IETF. And so it's only really sort of emerging out of that now, around about four weeks before the planned key roll. But ICANN has helped a number of DNS vendors and there has been a number of early implementations of this process. And so we've started doing these tests of trying to understand for users, have you got something to worry about or are you fine? The results are very preliminary and it's extremely difficult to measure the DNS. Using ads, you can get the user to do something, 
but it's really hard to get the user to report back. And this whole issue of reporting back has a lot of noise associated with it. And so the preliminary results are certainly there, but our analysis is going full, full, full bore at this point because we're getting a mixed picture and it doesn't seem right. Some resolvers are reporting they do and they don't to different people at different times. This, of course, is extremely confusing. Will we have good data in time for this key role? Hard to tell. The level or the number of folk who are supporting this new mechanism are very small. So we're measuring in a large ocean of DNS resolvers an extremely small puddle of water and trying to figure out what the ocean looks like just by looking at this puddle. So in some ways, it's early days and it's very difficult to tell. But the one thing we do know about this key role is it's not the only one that's ever going to happen. Hopefully, it will happen quite regularly. And if it does, then measuring it, instrumenting it, and understanding the dynamic behaviours of the DNS are actually long-term valuable things to do, despite the extraordinary effort sometimes we need to go to to make it happen.